Hi guys, it's that special time of the year. It's haul time. Hey everybody, welcome to another exciting episode here at We Can Geek Them on YouTube. My name is Giovanni Menendez, and if you're new here, if you're part of the wonderful subscribers that have recently joined this nerdy channel, thank you. Thank you very much. You guys are the best. Now, if you don't know what's happening, at the end of every month, I do a geek haul, if you will, of all the uh, nerdy acquisitions. However... Uh, this time we're running a little bit late. This is the June haul, but it's already July. I wanted to wait for every single June package because uh, I, I think since last year, whenever I did, or actually since forever, since I've been doing haul videos, I always say, oh, a package or two did not arrive in time. So I said, you know what? People can wait. I'm going to post a few videos in the meantime. But people can wait until I get everything, because I know that people like to uh, watch haul videos. Unfortunately, a package just simply did not arrive, and I could not wait any longer, and I just I had to do the video. So whatever, besides, it was only like three books, which I'll mention later in the video. But uh, most of the June stuff is here. Like I said, it was just three things that are missing, or four, I, I, I don't know. Uh, so yeah, uh, books, manga, uh, toys, movies, all that fun stuff. So yeah, haul time, the best of times. I love doing these. And if you want me to review a book from this whole mess, from this pile that I'm going to show you, uh, please let me know down below in the comments section. Like, hey, could you pl please do like a discussion video or a review on said item? I would love to do so. Let us begin with uh, manga. I got uh, the 13th volume of uh, My Hero Academia. This thing has just exploded in popularity. I remember when I got the first book. If you scroll back, I think it's like two years ago or something like that. I did a video and I'm like, oh, I got this little manga of My Hero Academia Volume 1. Now, everybody and their grandmother knows uh, who the hell uh, Bakugo and Deku and all these characters are. It's insane. I love the rise of in popularity of the shonen. And, and it's with good reason. It's an awesome series. The anime is firing in all cylinders. And the manga is just really, really awesome. I didn't get uh, my hero uh, Vigilantes, I think it's called. That is missing from this haul. So yeah, four books. Something of a guilty pleasure, man. I am a huge fan. One of my favorite franchises ever is Gundam. I love the Gundam series, but unfortunately, it's so big that uh, I haven't watched everything. And I've only seen like a couple of Universal Century things. Like I know the bare bones uh, info, basic info on uh, the UC stuff. I've only watched the uh, After Colonies, I think, the, the alternate realities and all the different shows that have come uh, after Gundam Wing and uh, uh, G Gundam, Gundam Seed, Destiny, Gundam Double O, and all the other ones that I'm forgetting. But the UC stuff, I know it's like the best one, and I it's one of my nerd shames, if you will. But that will uh, change, because I want to... Uh, dive right into the UC stuff and maybe just maybe I might do a video on the Gundam franchise I, I don't know. I'm trying to do new things on the channel. So we'll see where that takes us, but uh, As of this video, I did get uh, Mobile Suit Gundam origin uh, the origin volume 1 This is a 12 series hardcover series. I should say reimagining or retelling the uh, OG Gundam series with uh, a, a few remixes here and there with uh, aesthetics and plot points and stuff. It's really, it's really freaking good. I wanted to do a video on it, but I want to read more of these books until I can give you like a, a full fledged to review, not just like volume one and then wait around. Uh, and a really nice 
presentation. I love this hardcover, plus this striking image of uh, the Gundam right there. You get some colored pages. What am I doing? There you go. Some colored pages. And everything is just really freaking smooth. I love this so much. I can't wait to talk about it in a future video. So yeah, th th that's it for the manga. I was missing Vigilantes. And what was the other one? Oh yeah, Prison School Volume 10. It's not in this video. You'll see it eventually. My uh, NSFW uh, title in the hall. Uh, those two books did not arrive. So let's move on to trade paperbacks. Because I love me some trade paperbacks. Uh, from DC, I had to do it. Aquaman Tempest. I am so grateful for DC for printing this series uh, for the very first time. This this was released in 1994 or 95 or something like this from uh, Phil Jimenez. And uh, it, it had never gotten a uh, collected edition. This is the very first time. And if you love the character of Garth, uh, Aqualad, I really... Uh, you gotta pick this up. I will cover it in a uh, future video as I continue my Aquaman journey. I've been doing uh, different Aquaman videos every month and you'll see that eventually as well. All right, so the next book on the list, back when the New 52 was going, I did not pick that book up as it was uh, being uh, published, I guess. And I think a couple of months ago I did a haul where I mentioned the first book and the fact that I needed to get the other ones. And lately I noticed that it has gone out of stock in different places so I went ahead and picked up you know just in case Frankenstein Agents of Shade volume 2 this is the end of that run and basically if you don't know what Frankenstein Agent of Shade is here's the cover uh, yeah Shade is basically BPRD and Frankenstein is your Hellboy but in the DC Comics universe it's really fun guys and it's written by Jeff Lemire and Matt Kent. I highly uh, recommend it. It's a ton of fun. Speaking of out of print books, the other one, I really liked the dark label when the New 52 uh, did its thing. I loved Justice League Dark. That's one of my favorite DC groups or, or comic book teams I guess. So uh, one of the other books I was reading was uh, Frankenstein, I Vampire, and Demon Knights. The first book is out of stock and it's fetching for quite some penny online on the uh, Amazon third party list or eBay and that stuff. So if you can find it for retail price, go get it. And if you find it for less, then you are an excellent deal hunter. Uh, I did get uh, book two, I only had uh, volume one. And I was missing book two, The Avalon Tramp, Tramp, <laughs> The Avalon Trap, and the equally harder to find for a decent price, Volume 3, this is the end of the series, The Gathering Storm. So yeah, Demon Knight's an awesome series, Etrigan the Demon being one of my favorite DC characters, and I had to get it. This is an awesome run, and I'm happy that I own it and don't have to worry about out-of-print trade paperbacks. Anyways, moving on to Marvel Trades. Uh, this is a character that I did not care for when it first debuted at Image Comics at all. I wasn't much of an image reader in the 90s. I only read like your Spider-Mans on Marvel and Aquaman and stuff like that. So my exposure to Image Comics was in the early 2000s uh, where I started learning about who is who and all that stuff uh, you got to remember if you don't know i think i've told this story if not uh it might have been on omni bros or, or somewhere but i only started like seriously collecting books like in 2000 in mid 2000s before uh you know i was more into anime and manga that was my thing so i'm not as uh as an experienced hunter if you will compared to some of you guys out there so, uh, like I was mentioning, I was not a fan of this character, but as soon as it was introduced in the Marvel Universe, I was hooked. I, I went back and I read some of the stories, and if you're wondering what the hell I'm talking about, is Angela. She's one of my favorite uh, Marvel characters now. I love her design and her story, the way it was reworked. Uh, when she entered with the whole 10th realm, I think it was 10th realm with... Um, 
Loki and, and Thor and all that stuff. I loved it. And I had not read her solo, her two solo series, which, you know, is, here's volume one as Guardian Assassin and volume two, Queen of Hell. The art in it is awesome. I love the art. It's, it's pretty awesome, man. Like, seriously, L look at that. That is really awesome. Uh, yeah, I was not a fan when she uh, was in Spawn, because I, I don't know why I kept the mystery about the character for so long, but yeah, when she was in Spawn, when she debuted in Spawn, I did not, I guess she was a bright spot. I, I'm not the huge, I'm not the biggest Spawn fan, but um, when she transitioned, I, I loved her stories in the Marvel world with the Guardians and uh, now with her solo titles and her connections to Asgard and all that stuff. It's really cool. Speaking of powerful ladies, I had to pick up because of the Omnibus Collector uh, community group on Facebook, Charles Soule's uh, She-Hulk run. This is volume one, volume two. I love me some She-Hulk. She's awesome. Next up, one of my favorite characters from the Marvel Universe, Black Bolt. This is volume two of his solo series, Home Free. This is fantastic. If you get an opportunity, Please check this book out. I did a review on it. I should be linking that uh, somewhere in this video. And uh, last haul video, I talked about this whole run, Red Hulk, and I finally finished getting all the books, all eight volumes. Now I can do that uh, mini readathon and bring to you a Red Hulk analysis, if you will. Uh, so uh, pre the previous video, the previous haul video, I talked about uh, most of these books, the ones that were missing course let me recap just in case i got uh last month i got red hulk scorched earth planet red hulk this is new fear itself hulk and dracula this is was this was hard to find simply because most of these sellers were selling the hard cover the hardcover version i just i wanted the trade and for some reason not a lot of people are selling the trade that's why it's a, it was a little harder to find. But eventually I did. Um, Hulk of Arabia. You got Haunted. Oh, there you go. Haunted. And this was the other one that was, that was missing from the previous video. Mayan Rule. I did feature this last time. Red She-Hulk Volume 1. But I did not feature the last one. Red She-Hulk Volume 2. So that's it for trades. A lot of skinny trades. I love getting some really skinny trades for cheap. Most of them I got for like 50% off or more. It, it was really fun hunting uh, these books down. Let's move on to hardcovers. <laughs> From Image, I got Invincible Ultimate Collection Volume 12. If you have been following this channel, I have been doing an Invincible comic book discussion. I have basically... I've been doing uh, videos on every hardcover volume, so there will be 12 of them. As of this recording, we've done, we've published seven of them. Uh, the rest of the videos are coming real soon, so stay tuned for that. I really like doing those, and it gives me some uh, time to talk about one of my favorite comic book series. Uh, the end on this was insanely good, in my opinion. Speaking of insanely good, Miles Morales, Puerto Rican Spider-Man, uh, I got the uh, Omnibus, of course it has that whacked out spine issue. I gotta glue uh, the spine and all that stuff, so I'm not gonna open it here, but yeah, it, it, it did arrive a little bit banged up, so I will be fixing that. From the DC world, this is Superman Rebirth uh, Deluxe Edition, what is this, <laughs> Volume 2, and... The, I'm only doing this for this book because you've already seen it. Let the, let me just fanboy here for a second. This is the uh, book without the dust jacket. I love me some Multiversity, one of my favorite uh, modern DC runs. I love that book so much. And to get some uh, Aqua Woman action, all right. Next up, Batman Rebirth Deluxe Edition Volume 2. And I'm not going to collect every single uh, Rebirth hardcover. I'm, I think I'm just going to stick to uh, uh, Superman, Batman. Uh, just just because uh, I, I'm not a fan of getting like everything in, in hardcover. And uh, 
Uh, the only series I would do that for would be Aquaman, and unfortunately, the DC just doesn't seem to care about Aquaman and doesn't want to publish uh, the deluxe hardcovers. Whatever. Uh, for real cheap, I got the Nail, the complete deluxe edition. I got this for like 90% off. It's insane. It's brand new. I've never actually read it. It's one of those stories that uh, is highly regarded, uh, this Elseworld tale. And a lot of people uh, were recommending it to me, so I finally got it. Unfortunately, half of these books <laughs> arrived. It is Dark Knight's Metal Deluxe Edition, the main series. I love that metal foil. It's so freaking badass. And Dark Knight's Metal, Dark Knight's Rising. That's a lot of darks and a lot of knights and a lot of metals. I'm missing the Resistance trade paperback. That was one of the other uh, four that I that I talked about, and it's not technically a uh, June uh, haul, but I did get pretty late the um, Road to Metal thing, whatever. Uh, I wasn't going to get it because <clears throat> most of the stuff in there I already have. You know the uh, uh, Grant Morrison Batman stuff, the New Fifty Two Batman stuff. The only thing that was in there that uh, was of value to me were the two one shots, and I wasn't going to pay that amount for uh, just you know just a full hardcover for two issues but then I go to uh, I think it was Comixology to look up for the two issues and the grand total is like only like two or three dollars less than uh, an IST price nah homie don't play that I'll get I got the book so don't worry about it and plus it'll match the set with the other two Next up, this is a wonderful, fantastic gift from my good friend Felipe. Uh, gracias. Uh, I got The Wake from Vertigo, the hardcover edition. I had this in singles and I never upgraded. I ha Actually, I have volume one signed by Scott Snyder. I love The Wake, even though, you know, the second half, it is what it is. Kid Eternity, the deluxe edition from Grant Morrison. And from Brian Azzurillo and Eduardo Rizzo is Spaceman, the Deluxe Editions. And look forward to videos on these three hardcovers from Vertigo, sort of this Vertigo 3-pack. Thank you, Felipe. Movies, not a whole lot, but some pretty sweet stuff. Anime-wise, I got one of my favorite franchises, Lupin the Third. This is part four, The Italian Adventure, the complete series on Blu-ray that's 26 episodes. And this, to me, man, this Lupin's badass. Lupin is one of the greatest anime, in my opinion. And uh, the animation on this thing is insane. If you haven't checked it out, you can do so. Basically, if you're new to Lupin, just look at the jacket and that will indicate the series. You don't need to watch any series, just um, sort of, uh, most of these series are self-contained. There's the green jacket, there's the red, uh, pink, and now blue, I think I got, I got that right. Uh, but yeah, really, really fun stuff. Just awesome. Let's see without the slip cover, because I love the interior on this. Just really, amazing artwork i can't recommend this enough and if you're still not convinced check out look for loop in the third part for the uh opening it's probably on youtube you can check it out it's pretty banging these two movies are classics and i found them for cheap uh goodfellas and the shining two excellent movies that for some reason i never bothered collecting them on uh, blu-ray but if you've never seen them then i i highly recommend them they're classic movies uh a little 4k haul action i did get coco coco uh, a lot of people seem to cry in this movie i just like it for the cool visuals uh it's it's a great animated story don't get me wrong but i guess i'm a monster because i didn't cry with coco and uh to finish off my mcu collection Thor Ragnarok on 4K. The only thing that's missing is uh, friggin' Infinity War. Whenever that drops, I think it's in uh, late August or something. Before we close this, I wanted to do uh, figures. You might have seen this when I moved it. Uh, Funko Pops, because I love me some pops. It's Death from Sandman. It's a PX Previews exclusive. And I gotta say, I love this pop so much. Take a look. It's 
pretty badass. And I love the attention to detail on the box art. I'm typically, I, I open these, I don't really uh, keep them in box, but I love it when you do this and you give me uh, like exclusive art instead of here's more products that you can buy. It, it, it looks cheap. With this, this is very, uh, you can display this like it is and be proud of like having this on the shelf like this. It's really cool, man. Death is one of my favorite characters from Gaiman's Sandman. This huge thing. If you follow me on social media in some shape or form, you know my crazy obsession with Star Wars Porgs. These things are adorable and I waited for so long to get uh, this 10 inch version simply because uh, there are no targets over here. So if you wanna buy it, shipping's gonna cost you a little bit because everybody's gonna ship it on the on a huge box and stuff but I finally found a good deal on it so yeah the love affair with porgs continues and I'm gonna leave them right there finally let's do statues because I'm sort of a statue collector now I love Street Fighter and this uh, next one might be a little risque I don't really care I don't really mind it's awesome. My favorite Street Fighter character, one of my favorite ladies in uh, video games. It's uh, Chun Li, the battle costume version, and uh, yeah, this this is pretty friggin' fantastic. Look at this beauty right there. Yep, it's pretty badass. I don't know if you can see it with all the plastic and stuff. And last but not least. I am continuing my bombshell expansion, so thank you to my good friend Frank for uh, uh, getting this for me. You, sir, are a gentleman and a scholar. It is one of the rarer, which is insane to me that these are so rare now, uh, bombshells. It is the Hawk Girl bombshell. This statue is fantastic. I will probably do a spotlight review on it pretty soon. Uh, same, uh, I still need um, Poison Ivy, Black Canary, and freaking uh, Batwoman. She's rare now. I can't find them anywhere. Everybody wants to charge you three times the amount of the original price, which is just mind-boggling. But what are you going to do? Guys, that's it for hauls. Like I said, I was missing four books, but I think we did pretty well to uh, finish off this uh, haul. If you want me to review something, please let me know down below and say, hey, we can geek them. Can you review this? I will happily do so. Guys, thank you so much. Thank you to all the new subscribers. Thank you for liking, commenting, and just viewing the content. If you can, share the video, share it, and let everybody know about what we're doing here, bringing you sort of this niche channel and, and just experiencing uh, nerd culture together, you and I. How about that? As always, follow me on your favorite social media platform. Just type We Can Geek Them, and I'm probably there. I will catch all of you on our next video.